Here you go. Happy birthday. Come on. Come on. Hello. Hello, this is Corn. You. Happy birthday, this is Sunny Oaks. Sunny Oaks? No, no. Get out of here. Oh my God. Ha yeah. Yeah. Oh my God. Oh, I just turned 69. You believe it? Yeah. Yeah. Oh no. Wow, you got me beat. Gosh. Yeah, I don't know how my son made this hookup. He was talking about it at dinner. That he had some friend of a friend and whatever. Oh my gosh, yeah. Well, I mean, I, you know, this is, this is freaking, this is incredible. I can't wait to tell my wife. <clears throat> I mean, we went to see your brother. I, I just absolutely love your brother from the time I was 15, 16, you know. I, I did play in a folk group in, in high school and college, and of course, you know, uh, Phil was just uh, totally an idol, you know, him and Tom Paxton and Peter Paul and Mary, <clears throat> we played, my wife and I performed on the stage in coffee houses, the old coffee houses, you know, in the basement, <clears throat> we did that, so yeah, this is incredible, and of course we went to see him at the main point, uh, one of his last concerts there, maybe the last concert, at the main point in, uh, in Bryn Mawr, T.S., and uh, that would have been, uh, what year was that? Seven, well, it, would have, it was about six or nine months before we died. So when was that? 74 or 5? Yeah, 75. Yeah, yeah. my son wasn't even born uh, then. But yeah, waited, waited in line. And I guess I must have sat, what, 10 feet from him, 15 feet away? I'll tell you, it was, it was just magical. I mean, I don't have to tell you. I'm, I'm preaching to the choir here. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Well, I'll tell you, it's an incredible honor to, to talk to you and uh, just, to, just to hear your voice. I mean, I still, I've got, uh, I've got the book uh, uh, about your brother uh, at home on my nightstand. I'm, I'm just getting into it. I, I can't think of the title right off the, that bat, the list. Yeah, yeah, no, it was the, the, the rebel one, yeah. I've got that. I just, right, yep, yep. <clears throat> Death of a rebel, yeah, exactly, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So I'm getting into that. Well, that's great. Well, listen, uh, like I say, it was a, a, an honor. I, I've met a lot of famous people in my life, but uh, this is this is really really something. And had again, having having seen Phil, you know, ten feet away was just just mystical and magical. Let me tell you. It's just a shame that you know it was only what like like six months, something like that. Uh, nine months he was gone after I saw him. So I, was, I just feel lucky that the, I saw the Beatles live in 1966, one of their last concerts, August of 66 in Philadelphia. And then they did like two more shows, and they said, that's it, we're not touring anymore. You know, so I caught them. Well, I did, I did, yeah, I had to go see them. <laughs> All right, well, listen, you take it easy, and uh, I'll catch your show. Fantastic. Yes, it was. Thanks very much. All right, bye-bye. Yeah. <laughs>